Hey guys, for sure here. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing a MacBook Pro that we bought off eBay for a really good deal. This is, of course, a used MacBook, but in this video, we're gonna take a look at the condition of used MacBook that you can purchase off eBay, how you can score some really good deal, walk you guys through how to get started with this, how to set it up, and things to look out for, especially if you're buying MacBook or any electronics off eBay so you don't get scammed. So as you can see, it came in this big box, and we're gonna have to go ahead and start unboxing it took a couple days to come so we're gonna go ahead first take it out of the box so we can put the box aside take a look at the content of the box so let me get the scissor out while i unbox this so I have the scissor out now and i'm gonna start the unboxing here by cutting the tape it's a little asmr for you guys So we got that. Move that apart. So it's a huge box for a MacBook. It is a 15 inch one, so maybe that's why it's bigger. Um, I'm supposing, assuming a lot of bubble wraps were probably used inside. It's seven pounds here listed, but it should be smaller than that. So it came in UPS. So there's a one who delivered it took about I believe four or five days after ordering it so let's go ahead and take a look if you could get the last tape up here so this is the tape up there alrighty so you guys a little bit more here huge box um, like I said lots of bubble wrap here and then the MacBook itself here under all of this so I'm gonna go ahead and actually stop the video for a second so I can take this out and then put the box aside so I got it out of the box, but there's still a lot of bubble wrapping just to show you guys how well packaged it was. The one thing with this MacBook I bought, is on the description they said no charger, so they didn't get a charger. But this was 2015 MacBook Pro, 15 inch for around $210. So, you know, a charger kit, we can buy an additional charger, but on our own. And as you can see, they taped it up really well so when i'm trying to unbox this and take the bubble wrap off it's not as easy which is a good thing because you don't want in the process of the shipping you don't want it to get damaged or anything like that and you want them to package it really well because you know it gets moved around a lot so go ahead and try to get it out All right, so that was a lot of bubble wrapping to go through, but nonetheless, we got it here. So let's take a look at the condition of the MacBook here, just to show you guys. So from the top here, it looks like there's a little bit of mark. I'll say that that's just dirt. And then the top here, some dirt mark here. That's the top here. And then I'm gonna try to get some better angles here. So that's the top, and then here, yeah, look at this side. It is a used MacBook, so there's going to be some wear and tear, hopefully not too much. The charge port here, the back, and then this side as well. There is a little bit of markup here on the corner, but it's really hard to see. 
and then here and then we can take a look at the back here close some light marking as I mentioned this is a 2005 mid 2015 MacBook Pro with i7 uh, 16 gig of RAM and I believe 256 gig of storage so I'm gonna go ahead and try to open this up hopefully it has charge already if not we'll have to get our, our charger first we can turn it on so taking it off is a little bit hard so well, but before I go into deeper let's take a look at the keyboard and the speakers as you can see here overall looks good and looks good so we're gonna go ahead and power it on all right so it's powering on right now and go ahead and take a look at it while it's powering on so this one should have one of the later updates hopefully okay so it looks like powered on fine here I'm gonna move up the camera a little bit just so you guys can see here all right so you got that and zoom in a little bit move the space up so as you can see here uh, the screen here there's no cracks or anything like that I can't really see any issues with the screen the screen looks fine so we're gonna go ahead and set this up here uh, so you can see accessibility and then we're gonna do not now you're gonna select your Wi-Fi to connect to so we're gonna connect to our Wi-Fi here and hit continue so it's setting up right now hopefully uh, it's quick sometimes this process can take a little bit okay so we got data and privacy so that's good we're gonna hit continue and then migration if you're gonna be transferring things over we're gonna hit not now since we just want to get to the main screen Apple ID of course you want to set up your Apple ID or create a new one if you don't have one we can only set that up later so we're just gonna skip this part terms and conditional legal stuff we're just gonna hit agree hit agree and then name if we want to put this we're just gonna put admin here admin is gonna put password again this is just the initial setup just to show you guys how to set it up all right so you're giving a computer name which is going to go with the custom default setting not do anything extra here just so we can get to the screen to make sure there's no issues with it analytics screen time and then Siri we're just not going to enable it right now you can come back you can always set these settings up later initially uh, the look of it you can choose light or dark or continue here we'll just leave it as the default one here and hopefully after that all right so as you can see here we got to the main screen here now no issues we're just waiting for the apps to show up okay so the apps are showing up and we're ready to go so for only two hundred and ten dollars this is a pretty much a really good deal on a 2015 MacBook even after six seven years since it's been out this MacBook still holds up really well I really like the speaker and the actual keyboard itself so a couple things when you're buying from eBay is always make sure you read the description really well because you want to make sure you know there's no issues with it you want to buy MacBook that says fully functional or tested for all key function like this one so you want to check that out you want to check to make sure the seller offers at least a 30-day return policy because if there's any issues you can return it and most sellers do if a seller doesn't offer any return policy I would advise not to buy it the next thing you want to check is the seller's rating you want to make sure the seller has at least a thousand or more ratings which you can click on their profile and see because eBay is a marketplace for sellers of course you don't want to buy it from someone new or someone that's just selling uh, some random Mac but you want to buy from a seller and there's sellers out there if you look around which will put the link in the description section for some of, of the discounted MacBook you can get you can't get this one specifically because the seller of this one already sold out but there's other ones you can get it from some really good deals if you're just not looking to spend thousands of dollars on a MacBook for you know to uh, do pretty much the same thing you would do on a newer MacBook 
And of course, after you do that, do set it up like that, test it out. You want to check out the, make sure all the keyboards are working, speakers are working, cameras working, all of that basic stuff. If you use a MacBook, you'll know right away that uh, if there's an issue, it will come up. And you want to check things about the system as well to make sure the battery is good. Here, charge it, make sure it charges as well, connects to Wi Fi, and go ahead and start testing it out. So, hopefully, you guys find a good deal on a MacBook with the links in the description section on eBay. Uh, and if this video was helpful, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys uh, next time.